morning, Catch Cook viewers. Welcome to another episode. I'm here with Uncle Adrian this morning and Uncle Leon on my left. Welcome. So we're at uh, another little spot of ours here, but it's somewhere between Kids Beach and Hickman's River. I think we're going to be drop shotting for pub today. Uncle Adrian and Uncle Leon are going to show me their methods today. I've never really fished drop shot before. I've had the tackle but haven't had much luck. moment is a hammock lure as you can see there and we're using a one and a half ounce to two ounce sinker egg sinker with an 18 kg um, fluorocarbon bite trace and what we're doing is we turn it upside down the pure reason is to get a, the better action you can see the way the paddle tail turns there and it vibrates like that in the water the, the faster you turn it the better it is the action it is and guys it's, it's very very effective eh? and we're using this is a master look, a uh, sixer. You can go to a seven up, but you tend to hook up with it, so we need to stick to the sixer. That's a lot better. And then I'm using a, a master little clip with the normal little barrel swivel, and it's very effective. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move down a little bit as, as the current's moving towards the right, so you're automatically your fish will start moving down and feeding all the way down. What they look for is mullet and, and that type of thing, and then your stripies, which is a lot in the water. So we're going to move down and look for some more structure and we're going to try and go to another fish. Okay guys, I've just changed my colour. See that it's getting overcast now. So trying to get a, a brighter colour in the water to see what's going to happen. Um, the dark colour tends to fade away when it gets overcast. Worth a shot, go have a look on the website. And don't forget, these wetsuit pants, super comfortable, they warm, they light. Great for when you're fishing, it's actually a bit more comfortable than a wet. Go check them out on the Catscook website. And you got the logos on the bottom. The logos down there. You see the back bank there in the white water, you'll see a bit of white water there. There's a sandbar that's running across there. What we're doing is we're getting the lure on that sand, there where the wave is now. We put the lure on there, we pull it off that sandbar into this little gutter and we work in this gutter. What these fish are doing, they're lying in this little channel here waiting for bait fish, like mullet and, and a lot of uh, uh, golden stripies, they're waiting here. So what we're doing is land it on the back and pull it through slowly through there. You can feel the difference on the rod as well. You'll feel it goes a little bit tight like that, then all of a sudden it starts going smooth, you know, it's off the back bang. And we're hitting them. That brings our morning session to a close. Uncle Adrian got that uh, nice fish there, measured to 90 centimeters. Uncle Leon got two of around 70. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't land mine. Mine jumped off after it jumped on. But we're going to take this one back now and go fry him up. Guys, we're going to show you a little bit about making a salad um, and cooking our fish. Hope you enjoy it. Peppers and some lemon. Where are these? 
you can see the oil is about to drop a piece here. And you can see there is a little bit pop to the top and I'm ready and I'm ready. Dropping a fish is the batter. Like that. Got the snowflake on it. Straight out the sea. Guys, when a fish, when you see it's done, what you do is just lift it up. When it goes like a golden brown, you take it out. Um, it's not like a steak when you push it, you feel it, it's ready. Uh, fish, you don't want it to be overcooked. Otherwise, what happens is it cooks, um, goes dry. And so you don't want to eat it dry. It's a piece of fish. Cool, oh, that is amazing. That brings us to the end of this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video with all your friends.